name is Lindy. Hi, my name is Dakota. Hello, my name is Matt. In this episode, we'll be demonstrating Newton's first and third laws of motion. But before we begin, let's recap. Newton's first law of motion basically states that an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted on by an unbalanced force. An object in motion remains in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted on by an unbalanced force. This law is also called the law of inertia. Newton's third law of motion is very easy to remember. It basically states for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Now that we have reviewed the first and third law of motion, we can now move on to our video. So here's what's going to happen. Matt is going to jump off the treehouse and bounce onto the trampoline to demonstrate Newton's first and third laws of motion. Right now, Matt is moving with a constant velocity and he stays at that velocity because of his inertia. As soon as Matt collides with the trampoline, his inertia will change. This is how he demonstrates the first law of motion. When Matt collided with the trampoline with a certain amount of force, his force caused the trampoline to stretch with him. As you can see, the trampoline springs stretch and the elastic dips downward from mass force. When the springs are stretched, they exhibit an equal and opposite force, compressing back into equilibrium and propelling Matt back into the air. Newton's first and third laws of motion are all around us. Just by using the trampoline demonstration, we could show the first and third laws of motion. Just like how I was flying and hit the trampoline, that demonstrates the first law of motion, which is inertia. When I was flying through the air, hit the trampoline, the trampoline reacted to a force, throwing me back up into the air, which demonstrated Newton's third law of motion. 